like a major storm coming in and uh, well, the whole video is gonna have to get postponed because look at this. And right there is all thunderstorm and rain. Oh, oh, oh. Alright guys, we're in Sarasota, Florida and today we're going to be building a saltwater pond on the beach. On the beach. We're at Home Depot now. Unfortunately, we couldn't film inside of Walmart because Walmart sits down when they pee. We got a lot of our stuff, uh, but we got to get a few more things. Should we get this one? What is that? We could make a pond on this? Dude, that thing's tiny. Why would we get that? Should we go bigger? No, we're going big. Alright, alright. We do need a net though, right? Yeah. We're going to be trying to catch some stuff in the ocean for our saltwater pond. <laughs> need some beach chairs. I do like these plants. I do too, bro. This would be lit. Alright, let's get it. Yo, how much are they? Dude, they're 35 bucks. Alright, let's get two of them. Alright, so we're going to surround our pond. It looks like with this stuff. It's pretty cool. And you can easily stick these in the sand, so it should work pretty well. Five, six. We got ten of those. Are you guys getting ready for a party? Beach party, yeah. And you're just down here for the weekend? Yeah, we're just down here to build the world's biggest pond on a beach. No, please tell me you're not doing that. That's exactly what we're doing. 248.44. What's your name? Demonte. Nice to meet you, bro. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Me. Me. I mean, come on. You, you're the salt water king. Come Let's on. Let's go! Oh, you're man. tall as f <laughs> All right, so we just got all of our supplies. We're gonna show you what we got. Shovels, seven up for drinking. Buckets, tiki torches, because they're cool and aesthetics are also nice. Dad chairs, not exactly sure what these are. A net, this is a pond. You put water in it, it goes up, you can swim in it, you can do cool things because it's like a thing of water. I don't know. Fun beach stuff. Water. Hydration is key. Getting all over here. Hydration's not a joke, all right? Let's go. That's our water! What are you doing? That was our most precious resource, and I just threw it away! Dude. Get that sweat bead, bro. <laughs> it's dripping down the <laughs> Dang, wait. No, oh, you should no. <laughs> Sean Snails gave us the card and literally said, don't break it. <laughs> no, if you can do that, someone has to hold them together. You don't, oh, oh, careful, careful. Pull that one up, pull yeah, that one on the side. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Oh, she's in. That's what she said. And then when you're pulling them out, same idea, have one guy just kind of guide those leaves out. This will be easier pulling it out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Stay well. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. Take care. So we got all of our pond supplies. Now we're going to go to a local fish store here in Sarasota, Florida to find some cool marine inverts that we can put in our pond. That is super cool. All right, we'll get two of them. All right, so we need to get some fish. So we're going to get some damsels because they're really hardy fish. They're very colorful and they're pretty cheap. Some baby Colombian sharks. Great. No, get the two big ones. All right, we'll take the two big ones then. That's yeah. a lot of fish right there. Okay, 15 fish, five inverts later. Total is $135. We got all of the awesome and exotic animals for our pond. All right, so now we're on our way to the beach. We're gonna set this up real quick. Wish us luck. We got our pool here. This is gonna act as basically our liner for the pond. So it's a 10 foot pool and it's about two feet deep. It's pretty big. We picked our spot right here. I guess we just gotta start digging, right? There's a variety of different. <laughs> I can't dig no more. Dude. Oh. Oh, Shia LaBeouf made this look so easy. Shia LaBeouf made four million dollars in that movie. Well, what about zero? We didn't get paid anything. How much water do we have? It's empty. We have no water. We're done. You think we're gonna die out here? Hey, do you smell that? Yeah, it's like... It's, it's like grimy. Yeah, it's like kind of salty and... Is that what I think it is? No. no. That can't be. It's Sean but Snails! Yeah, we're here. Wow, he really is snail's pace. What's going on, guys? Did someone call Sean Snails? Yeah, but like, what what took you so long? 
thought I saw a snail signal. You guys okay? We we're trying to build the largest saltwater pond ever on the beach. Like the biggest one ever. ever. But you ran out of energy, right? Yeah, we're like, we're pretty done so, dude. This thing's huge. Yeah. I think I know what you need. What's this? Oh, this is Turbo Start. It's the world's best bacteria. 100% of the time, it works every time. All right, so the hole should be big enough. Yanni, let's test it out. This pond is nearly 600 gallons, so this is gonna be a lot of water. We're gonna start filling this thing up. Hey, you wanna aim for inside of it, you know? All right, so. We filled up the pond. We're now gonna put in the vegetation, la lechuga of our pond. Uh, we got the most extra plants we could find. Just putting the finishing touches on the pond. I wanna make sure these fishies fill at home. We're just gonna swim. All right. All right, so we got our tiki torches to give us that nice survivor tingle. And the first person voted off Survivor Florida is John Snails. What? Without me, I saved you guys. Sean, the tribe has spoken. When did you become Jet Pros? We got Mike Roll over here doing nothing. Screw you guys. Oh my God, guys. All right, so there's like a major storm coming in and uh, well, the whole video is gonna have to get postponed because look at this. And right there is all thunderstorm and rain. We're gonna get a lot of our stuff. We're not gonna put the fish in yet. We're gonna come back tomorrow morning and finish up this project. We've never seen this before. Yeah. I've been coming here for five years. A genius. Yeah, we're gonna take it down. Before. The snail gods did not like that you voted Sean off the island. Not a smart move. What's your vlog? It's Coralfish 12G. Like and subscribe. I think they're 18. We're postponing the video until tomorrow. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow morning if we make it. All right guys, that was kind of a crazy storm. We set everything back up to finish our video. This is actually gonna work out perfectly because- it's colder. Yeah, it's yeah. cooler, and so the fish are gonna be so much better off in this temperature. We're gonna be able to finish our pond in the next couple hours, get the fish in there, make it look amazing for the video, and then we'll get them out and take them to their new home. So we have finished the pond. Yeah, he's putting some final touches on it. We got our leaves, we got our vegetation, we got our chairs, our tiki torches. We got some fishing supplies in case we might want to go out there and potentially catch some stuff for our pond. And finally, we got our fish right here and they are ready to go into the pond. So you know what time it is, guys. It's time to start the process of acclimation. 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 Yeah, we're vlogging. All right, so the fish, they're all acclimated and they're ready to be released into our pond. All right, so these are our blue and yellow damsels. Next, we got the black and white damsels. Okay, so these are sea urchins. So this is a spiny kind. It actually isn't the really dark one that will hurt you. He's literally moving. This is a friendly sea urchin for sure. This thing's not out to get you. Let's put these over here. Make sure not to step on them. And then these are our serpent stars. So get this, Yanni. You'll see him moving all over you. This guy is disgusting, to be honest with you. I do not want this on my hand. This guy's clearly lost an arm. And so the cool thing about these sea stars, as many of you know, they can grow their appendages back. This is what they look like on the underside. <laughs> oh wow, they're really moving fast. Yeah, dude, these guys are sprinting. Look at them, they're just taking off like bullets. So next, we're gonna do our horseshoe crabs. They're essentially like stingrays, but with legs. Look at these guys, look at him. He's trying to, he's already trying to take off. All right, so we're gonna put these guys in, and they 
are just gonna scurry along the bottom of our pond here. Next, we're gonna put in our Nasaria snails. Nasaria snail. Finally, guys, we have the top of the food chain here. We got our Colombian sharks. These guys are awesome. They're really high energy. They're a lot of fun to watch, so they're gonna have a really good time in this pond. Here they come. Okay, the pond looks great. All the fish are swimming around. We were thinking to go for a quick swim and see if we can find anything in the ocean that we could also put in our pond. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, so we're gonna dive in and see what we can catch. found a crab. Yo, I think these guys actually found something. No way. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, oh, he bit me. All right, it turns out he's a biter, so we're gonna put him in the net and we're gonna keep looking to see what else we can find. Look at this guy. Dude, no way, you found another one? Looks like a conch to me. Yeah, that looks like a conch, man. Wow, I think they just found another one. They're on a roll right now. Dude, that's insane. All right, we got two solid catches. I was not expecting to actually find anything. <laughs> this is like beautiful macroalgae. This is good for removing nutrients. Let's grab some of this and we can put this in the pond. Did you actually find something? Yeah. We found a big hermit. And we found a conch. Dude, look this guy guys. is very active too. Look yeah, at look, he's gonna come up. Oh my oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna put our new catches in. Oh, dude, that crab is moving. The biggest pond on the beach. Your pond is awesome. What do you think of the pond, sir? Very nice, very nice. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We faced a lot of adversity building this pond. It wasn't easy. Definitely took a lot of hard work to pull all this off. Between our team right here, we got it done, so. Looks great. We're gonna enjoy our time on the beach now. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out. out.